This video is sponsored by Native. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and I want to take you along with refreshing my patio for summer. We're going to clean it. We're gonna add some new pieces out here and just breathe some new life into it because the winter has made it so sad. So sad. This is a bonus vlog for all of you, but we have makeovers coming out. On Saturday, we have a basement studio fix episode, a basement that is also a studio apartment. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the latest episodes. Are you ready? Let's get started. what my patio looks like now. I'm actually very embarrassed by the befores because I did not do what you are supposed to do. I didn't cover my furniture during the winter time. Though in Canada, I have to say, you have one window of opportunity and then it gets freezing cold, snowy, snowstorms. You know, I would argue to say 24 hours. No. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually argue there's an entire season. Basically in my defense, what happened was we were like, we really have to put away our furniture, we have to cover it. And then it just got really cold and then it was snowstorming and then it was ice storming and then it was spring. So here we are really excited to refresh this space, make it feel ready for the season. There's definitely a few things I wanna change about this patio. It has served us so well while we've lived here, but I really want to get a comfy chair. The chair that I had put out here before that I've had for a few years is very beautiful, but it's not a chair you can like curl up in. It's functioned really well when we've had guests over, but I really want something like a rocking chair or just something that's a little more comfy that I can sink into and read a book. I'm definitely going to keep the sofa we have. I love it. It's so beautiful, but it's also really comfy. I just need to wash the covers. I wanna add some fresh new string lights, string them up all over the patio, bring in a few new accessories to make it feel new, stylish, and fresh. So since I'm refreshing my patio for summer, it's also time to refresh my bathroom cabinet with some new native deodorant. If you guys have been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that I have been using native deodorant for years. I love native deodorant because it is 100% plastic free. It doesn't go on sticky and it feels dry while you're applying it. Of course, it is aluminum free, paraben free, cruelty free, and vegan. Another thing I love about Native is all of their scents. They have special editions come out, but then they have these classics that I go back to time and time again. Right now, I am loving aloe and green tea and lavender and rose. They're very summery scents. Noah never changes up his scent. He always goes for citrus and herbal musk. It's a very like woodsy, earthy scent, whereas the aloe and green tea is a little bit lighter and perfect, in my opinion, for the warmer weather. Of course, I have a discount code for you so you can try Native for yourself. Use my link and code code GATOR10 to get 20% off your first purchase at Native. The offer is available site-wide for a limited time. Let's get back to the makeover. Hi guys, me and Lana here. Sorry, there was like a bug on me. I know, no, there was like a bug flying around. We are on our way to get some stuff to prep for my patio refresh that's happening tomorrow. We have to go to HomeSense. I need to go to a plant nursery of some sort. I want an outdoor like tree, like a lemon tree or something. Then we have to go back to my house, take off all the cushion covers. I want to wash them before tomorrow. We got a lot to do. Come on our little errand afternoon with us. Our first stop is plants. So many choices already. First stop down. Successful stop. She cute. The woman told me she's a gardenia. It's a little tree that's flowers. That's cute. Look at that. So the tree is gonna flower these little white blooms. So we're gonna go get a pot for it when we go to HomeSense. Hey guys, we're at HomeSense now. Alexander really has to pee, oh, so. He's so badly. Okay, go, bye. Not gonna lie, that was a close call. So we are at HomeSense. I need a plant pot, outdoor plant pot. I need some accessories, like maybe a candle or something cute. Yeah, let's see what they got. Not for my outdoor patio, obviously, but how cool is this? Also, this cabinet is so dirty. That just clear everything up. Yeah. Sometimes I will print out my little rough mood board when I'm shopping for accessories because it'll help me stick within a similar color palette, jog my memory of what's gonna work in a space. 
Oh, I love this. This is so lightweight. And I like how it's on legs. Like I want to give that little plant. I just got some height. Wow. That bad boy. I could fit that. I could take a bath in there. I think I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this planter and use it for an outdoor throw blanket or a throw blanket that we can just use outside. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. And I got this bell. For what? I don't know. Hmm. So I'm just looking for some stuff to prop the table with. I love this. Some napkins in there. I'm getting this. Great. <gasps> Squeeze the day. An inflatable pool. I kind of think we should bring one to the office. We should get this. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a pool. I don't have a cottage. And yet I'm like contemplating buying this floral water mattress. This is the hall. That's too much to handle. You're kidding. The little foot hanging down? Holy f that's beautiful. <laughs> We're back after a successful little sourcing and errand run. Elena and I are gonna take the covers off the cushions. I'm gonna throw them in the wash and then we'll be all ready and prepped for the makeover tomorrow. It's a bit chilly. I feel like I might have to put on a sweater. Do you like my dress? Love it. So it's the next day. The covers have been washed. They're clean. They're dry. The birds are chirping. It's a beautiful morning. My team is here. We're going to start by moving everything off the patio so we can clean it. There's a couple pieces I'm giving to Bri Tai, my landlords. Like the barbecue they're going to put in the backyard so we can all use it. A couple of the chairs are going to go down. So we're not throwing anything out. We're not giving anything away. The downstairs unit is going to repurpose and use some of this furniture. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, update. I was like so set on getting rid of the barbecue. Graham and Amanda were like, why would you get rid of the barbecue? We might bring it down to Bri Tai, but it's here for now. Dust flying in my face. We are starting by just cleaning off the patio. I'm using a leaf blower, Graham's using a broom. So envious of all of you who live in warm climates. They have to clean their patios too, though. Do they? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also taking this opportunity to wipe the windows. Such a simple thing that I don't really do that often, but from the inside, it makes the space look brighter. So just taking that opportunity to clean off the patio and like do all these things that I don't do during the dead of winter. Cleaning your windows, great thing to do. We're gonna get the dish soap out and water and just make it feel clean and fresh. Not on my dress, not on my shoes. <laughs> and we're gonna go with the grain, people. It's like that sprinkler. Yeah. This patio is definitely in need of a fresh paint or stain, but for now, cleaning it with dish soap and water is working just fine. That's a later project. That's a whole endeavor that I have wrapped my mind around. Okay, Graham's throwing the hose up to me and I have to try and catch it. He's on top of a garbage can apparently. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Be careful, like cover your eyes. Cover my eyes, <laughs> but also catch it. Ready? Yeah. Whoa. I bet you guys thought I wasn't gonna catch that. I caught it. Uh, uh, what the f No. <laughs> no. Are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not at all. Just the novel. Me. You're kidding. Oh, f off. Okay. Nice. Look how nice that is. Next, we're using a hose to wash all the dirt off. If you don't have access to a hose, definitely just use a big bucket or something, but you need to wash all that soap away with some water. Who made you that beautiful? 
Why aren't you that gorgeous? You don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> While the deck is drying, I'm going to prop the sofa up, give it a wipe down. It is in such good condition considering I didn't cover it. Don't do what I do, do as I say, and cover your furniture, but I got lucky this year. So it looks brand new. It looks so good. Next, I'm building this beautiful table from Article. It has a concrete top to it. It's really sturdy. The table we had out here before was not from Article. I just didn't think it was the best quality. It was metal. It never felt clean. It got dirty really easily. And this one is slightly bigger, and I think it'll just be a lot more functional for us to eat at really sturdy, a little bit bigger than the other one we had. And I think it's gonna be a little bit more functional. But let's bring out the chairs next for the dining table. See how it all looks together. These can be used indoors and outdoors. And I found the metal ones we had before just weren't all that comfortable, even though they looked so cute. So I'm excited to have something a little more functional for us to eat at. These are cute and they're so much more comfortable than the other ones. I feel like I can work comfortably at these, I can lounge. We are gonna make this barbecue smaller by folding in the wings or like taking off one of the wings. We're gonna tuck it into this corner, move the table back where it was. Call my gloves on. Okay, why don't we just take both the wings off? Why does it look like your gloves died? Because it did, <laughs> because it did. We might even have room to move them forward um, once they bring in other furniture, but for now that's cute. It's time to bring in the rug. This rug is from Article as well, and it really looks like it belongs indoors. I'm always so impressed with how rugs these days, outdoor rugs, look like they belong in a living room. I'm using these side tables as individual little coffee tables. I like that we're gonna be able to move them around if we're hosting, or they can just be a place to set a drink if you're sitting on the sofa. The one here, they're very cute. I really wanted a comfy, like just a really comfy chair that I could read a book in. Oh my gosh, so comfy though. <gasps> oh, no, like it's so good. You could use one of these side tables as a footstool. Like this is the life. What are you doing? What are you doing? Grab your in the frame. Like the barbecue saga. Continues. I'm moving the barbecue. It was always the plan to move this barbecue downstairs. I am going to move it downstairs. Give it to Bri Tai. They have a full backyard. It was always the plan to do that. This barbecue came from my old apartment where I had that massive patio. It's just too big for this space. Like it feels crowded. We've used it once since we moved in. And I think Bri Tai will get much better use out of it. So my final verdict is in. We're bringing it downstairs. Get out of your barbecue. Get out of here, bad girl. <laughs> Remember the planter and plant I got yesterday? It's time to bring those in. We finally have room. Let's see this plant in there. So cute. Now it is time for the finishing touches. These cushions are from Tonic Living. Can you believe these are outdoor cushions? This is just a really simple way to switch up the style of your outdoor space every season. I'm placing a candle on the table. I'm adding a blanket and a cushion to this rocking chair. This rocking chair is so comfortable. It doesn't need a cushion, but it's here because it looks cute. I'm placing a decorative tray on the table with some napkins. I'm reusing one of my old outdoor article pieces beside the rocking chair. I'm placing this cowbell that I found at HomeSense yesterday on the door. And now Graham and I are stringing lights all across the patio. These are from Canadian Tire. They're so durable and just so beautiful. 
Are you guys ready to see this patio refresh? I cannot wait to spend all summer long out here eating dinner, reading a book, and just to relax and unwind under this beautiful, beautiful tree. tip here, something I didn't do but I am going to do, is get a big basket to have by my back door and keep all of those decorative accessories in it when I'm inside, just to protect them for the weather. Things that aren't necessarily meant to be in the outdoors, but that I can have easy access to when I'm out there to make the space feel decorated and beautiful. I hope you enjoyed coming along this little patio refresh with me. I hope this inspires you to get your patio ready for the warmer weather. On Saturday, we have a new studio fix coming out. Basement studio apartment transformation. You don't want to miss it. I hope to see you there 11 a.m. See you then. Bye. Um, is that just to make it go faster? Anyway. Okay. Yeah.